Hello and welcome. I'm Nate Faithful 2 and in this episode we're going to be making a cool dice pot. Okay, so uh, I've been playing D&D recently, uh, just as the setup to, to what I'm about to say here. I, I've been playing D&D recently, uh, started a campaign with one of my friends, can't remember what it's called, but yeah. Uh, the, the, the thing is that I wanted to make a cool thing to hold, some new dice that I wanted to buy. I bought some nice dice off of uh, Amazon. I also had a pack of like really cheap dice as well off of Amazon. These dice are quite heavy. I'll put a link to them in the description below uh, later on. Um, also, there are no time lapses in this video still because I'm just trying to work that out with the older uh, the GoPro, which is still recording. Stop. Hopefully, after this video, I will be able to work out how to get time lapsing down. Right now, I haven't quite got there yet. But, um, yeah, so I wanted to create a dice pot. Uh, I had a need. I saw this thing online. It was a nice dice pot. Um, but it didn't really have all the space that I needed for dice. Um, I don't know if you've ever played D&D before or Dungeons and Dragons. But you need uh, a big full set of dice. So there's like, you got the D4, 6, 8, 10, 20, and then 100. So it's like 6, maybe 7 dice. So what I did was I looked online again and I found a pot which held um, a lot of dice. Uh, it held, well, I've got it right here actually, three, six, seven, eight. It holds eight dice, which is all the dice that you need. Um, and I really liked that one. So I thought, okay, I'll print that. And I did. So here is the dice pot. So if you can see on the top view here, it's got three at the top, three at the bottom, two. Uh, on one, one on either side, so you've got the D20s in the sides. You could put them in any of the holes, I'm pretty sure. Um, but this pot also came with little holes around the outside for magnets, so you can attach a lid. Now, uh, I have uploaded a, a lid for this which is blank. I didn't make this pot, but I did make a modification to the lid so that the lid was flat. It originally came with a dragon picture on the top of it to signify like Dungeons and Dragons or whatever. But I didn't want that on it, <laughs> so I, I blanked the lid and re-uploaded that for, for nothing, obviously. Um, but what I really wanted to do with that was I wanted to put my own logo on here. So I took my N, my little N, I visually put these two together in the program. Uh, I cut away where it was and now I had a lid and this lid is pretty good um, it also has little holes for magnets in it on the back I'm not going to show you the back just yet um, and that was really good uh, and what I really wanted to do as well to make this look a bit more professional was to felt the insides with red lining because my favorite color is red so I did red on the back and red inside this one also does have a hole in the middle for your little figurines to put in. The felt in here is all just pushed in, um, cut but basically to size. It's not perfect, I'll, tell you, I'll give you that. Uh, the magnets I bought off Amazon, the felt I bought off Amazon, the plastic, this is Prusa, Prusa Silver, um, and it all went together just perfectly. I used some super glue. And as you can see, I've got a bit of an issue on here with that. Um, but other than that, it went pretty well. And if you click the lid on, that's using four magnets. You can hold the lid on with just, just dropping it on and it's fine. This isn't cut out perfectly. I know that, um, but I wanted to adapt the lid into a bit more of a dice uh, roll area kind of thing so I was thinking of doing something a bit more to this later on in order to make it a bit more useful for me personally um, because also on top of that around the outside there's a little lip where you can kind of if you wanted to push fit the lid onto here because there is a little indent down on the sides as well for you to be able to do that now I don't need it for that so I was thinking what I could do is I could bring that up, um, make the lid a little bit wider, 
and then go down so that it could stop dice from rolling outside of it. Then you can use the dice lids as a little roll mat. Um, it might be too small for that. <laughs> it probably is too small for that. Um, but it's a possibility. It's something that I could try. Um, I'm quite. I'm. I'm just happy that this whole thing, like, came out as well as it did, uh, because at the moment we have some really nice dice. One thing I did notice about this is it's it's not too easy to get your dice out of the dice pot. So I mean, obviously you can just tilt it up and then pop everything out, and everything is just stuck in there now, as you can see. Um, and it works pretty well. You can see the magnets around the outside as well there. Um, and that I've only got four of them in. And that was because these magnets are freaking strong. I got these magnets off of Amazon. Oh my god. <laughs> Literally, they are, they are very strong. They have very strong magnets. And it was like six pounds for like 50 or 60 of them. Uh, little, really small, um, three by six mil, I think, magnets. Very, very worth the money. Here's my little figurine that I did previously, the little dwarf, uh, which we spoke about. Here's a, a dice from, this is from Magic the Gathering, I believe. Uh, and then these dice are the ones that I bought on Amazon. Now, I, I've, I've always liked fancy dice, I guess, but these have a very big heft to them. Like, literally... When you roll these dice, they feel really good. They feel really good in your hand. They have a big weight to them. Um, and that is what I was looking for in a nice pair of dice. But anyway, that about does it for this. If there's anything you guys think that I should add to this or anything that you, you think would be good on this project, please do let me know in the comment section below. I'd, I'd love to modify it. And I'm, I'm really happy with the design of this one so far. Oh man, that's pretty sharp. Yeah, and because of the design of this, um, this, this is what I'll be taking to my to my meets, and maybe even I'll make another one for one of my friends or something like that if they if they really wanted one. Um, I don't know if I mentioned the glue was done with uh, super glue, and I messed it up, and that's why there's a big splotch on the bottom. But yeah, that is it for this time. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me think. Follow me on Twitter. That's at nf 42 and thanks for watching.